It's all about simple application development and deployment experiences. Are you ready? Are you ready to take Spring Boot apps to production without worrying about infrastructure or Kubernetes? Many, many developers tell us that they struggle with Kubernetes rollouts. They must learn a lot of things like pod, scheduler, YAML, and how to operate them. They would love to use Kubernetes without managing it. So that's where we're going to see how this is possible. So you don't have to learn or manage Kubernetes. Java developers can use Spring Boot to build anything and get it up and running as quickly as possible. Optionally, they can also use Spring Cloud components to coordinate anything between microservices. Let's look at a typical layout of Spring components for deploying Spring-based microservices. The center here represents business apps or microservices interacting with data, messaging, cache, and directories on your right. The business app consumers on your left are interacting with your business apps in the center. The Spring Cloud middleware components are laid around business apps. Regardless of where you're deploying virtual machines, containers, or on-prem or cloud, any cloud, Azure, Amazon, Google, or Alibaba, you are on point for building a dynamically scaling infrastructure to deploy all of these. It's a high effort. Many of our customers are trying to build these on containers and virtual machines. Now, once they have an infrastructure, they have to build app lifecycle on top of the infrastructure, such as create, deploy, stop, start, restart, blue green, log stream, update. It just goes on and on. There are about two dozen primitives. It's difficult. It's also painful to wire them all up for troubleshooting and keeping an eye on production. Everyone must figure out how to solve for these things, and yet they deliver no value to your businesses. One of the most important things that technology leaders like Microsoft can do is to remove these impediments and friction for our customers, the developers. So we started to ask the question, what if we could remove these impediments for even more developers? And of course, we want to work with uh, Pivotal at the time on building this experience. And they were pretty happy to join hands and build this. And now you can see how the product came together called as Azure Spring Cloud. Azure and Spring coming together as Azure Spring Cloud. Azure Spring Cloud is a fully managed service for Spring Boot apps that lets you focus on building and running the apps that run your business without the hassle of managing infrastructure. You can simply deploy your jars or code and Azure Spring Cloud will automatically wire your apps with the Spring service runtime. Once deployed, you can easily monitor application performance, fix errors, and rapidly improve applications. It's integrated into Azure's ecosystem and enterprise ready. The service is jointly developed, operated, and supported by Microsoft and VMware. And the exciting part is you get the power of Kubernetes, but you don't have to really worry about learning or managing it. A little more details here. The big rectangle is Azure Spring Cloud. It's built on Kubernetes. Your apps are running in one of the two dedicated Kubernetes clusters for each service. Your apps can interact with any Azure service or external services. Logs, metrics, and alerts are available through Azure Monitor. You can use Azure Log Analytics, Elastic, or Splunk to monitor it end-to-end. -end. You can secure your apps using Azure Active Directory. You can automate using your favorite tools and platforms. And continue to use the dev tools that you are familiar with. NetNet, it's an easy way to get started. Focus on your business objectives and everything else is taken care of for you in the cloud. And here again, do you have to manage anything here? No, you don't have to. Azure Spring Cloud has absorbed all the complexities with infrastructure, hosting microservice apps, app lifecycle, managing microservices, blue-green deployments, pushing logs and metrics, and so on and on. And everything is supported by Microsoft and VMware. To get started, there are three simple things. You create a service and create an app and you deploy an app. 
after that, it's up and running. You can simply deploy a jar file and you don't have to worry about managing any infrastructure. Everything is managed for you. You can focus on creating rich applications and not worry about their lifecycle management. Monitoring is a breeze and so easy. You can use your tools, the application performance monitoring tools, um, browser, desktop, your iPhone, anything to just monitor. And there are plenty, plenty more rich features in Azure Spring Cloud. Once your Spring Boot apps are up and running, they can interact with Azure data, cache, messaging, and directory services using rich idiomatic Spring integrations. Azure Spring Cloud is now available in 17 regions from Australia to Far East to Middle East to Europe to Americas across four continents, and we are continuously expanding about five regions per quarter.